Welcome guys back to our video on channel to back some more Animal Revolt Workshop review and today as you guys can tell the title and thumbnail we're going to be reviewing the uh, workshop uh, Scorpius Rex um, so uh, yeah um, either way obviously here it is right here in front of us um, in terms of its model um, it actually does look pretty well done uh, if you look at the face you can see how many little pieces were used got a little crest above the eye um, teeth in the mouth and everything um it's pretty detailed you got spikes on the tail um but uh yeah pretty well done in terms of details and stuff like spikes on the wrist right there that's actually pretty good um but uh yeah um pretty good model overall um then we're gonna go and put the creator on screen right now And yeah, that was the creator, obviously. Go and show him uh, some support or, you know, go and, you know, by downloading his other workshop items or anything like that. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the playtesting of this unit. So, in terms of the playtesting for this unit, um, when I did my testing, I obviously determined its price because I do that for every video. So, you know, it's balanced when we do the fights. Um, I found about two times health kind of is fair. Um, it's kind of hard to determine this unit. He's pretty... I don't know. It's kind of hard to determine him. Any unit that's like a below, like T-Rex and Spinosaurus, he completely just kind of demolishes these two units. They don't really do much. Um, just as an example, going to place him down. You can watch this. Going to turn on health bars. And... He's saying T-Rex will do damage. Um, sometimes. Not all the time, really. But... Because of his armor, T Rex can't really grab him. And so what ends up happening is well what you're seeing right now. T Rex pretty much just gets gets completely destroyed and doesn't even stand a remote chance. Um Same thing kinda happens to Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus is a bit better because Spinosaurus has a uh, smaller like jaw, so it's able to get in there easier like that. But even then, Spinosaurus still struggles. Um because as you can see right now, Spinosaurus now isn't attacking. Well, he's trying to, but he can't. Um, though he is knocking Scorpius Rex over. That doesn't really matter because you can see Spinosaurus is about to die. Um, so yeah, he's pretty powerful in terms of against units like this. Though, then when you try to go to bigger units. So if I were to, let's say, do... I mean, even just uh, Brachiosaurus... Um, for example, if you want to see the Brachiosaurus uh, versus Scorpius Rex, you could see it may not look like much of like a unfair fight, but then you have fall damage from the Brachy, and also the Brachy does a lot of damage and has a lot of health. Though actually, it's actually looks like a pretty fair fight. It's actually the fairest I've seen this fight. Every time I tested it, Brachy kind of just completely demolished the Scorpius Rex and didn't even take damage at all. Oh, well, that's gonna... I don't know how that didn't kill him. Normally, fall damage in this game is pretty brutal, so. Surprising to see Scorpius didn't die there. Scorpius gonna die now, though, but. Yeah, it's actually surprising. Every time I did this fight off camera, uh, before the video, or before I started recording, Bracky didn't even lose health. Like, he lost, like, the slightest sliver, but he always killed him. So that's interesting that once I turn on the camera, things are different. As you would expect, obviously. <laughs> that's how it seems to be with pretty much every YouTuber. They turn off the camera things start going against them they turn on the camera and it makes them look like they're lying um but yeah against there's the source you see he's able to kill this pretty easy We're saying th uh theory has a lot better of a chance because its claws can kind of get in between the armor so you see it did some damage but pretty much nothing um then if i go ahead and get rid of theory and let's say i go to a bit of a bigger unit like the goro You'd think, seeing how quickly he's able to destroy Spino, T-Rex, stuff like that, that this would be a fair fight, but not really. Which thing, Goro is pretty powerful anyways. Any unit that really fights Goro kind of just gets killed really quickly. Yeah, you can see, it doesn't look like he's taking much damage yet, but wait for it. Just gotta wait for the Goro to do one of his attacks that he actually has damage with. And he pretty much takes out half the health of the Scorpius in like a single hit, like that. See how much damage he just did there? And then there's this attack. But, yeah, it's not really a fair fight. And then it's kind of like kind of hard to balance the Scorpius. He doesn't seem to really have a, a good place in terms of price within all the units. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, let me try Gore Hammer. I didn't try Gore Hammer in my testing. I have a feeling this will be pretty much a complete destroy of the Scorpion. Actually, no, that didn't do much damage. I think I was going to do a lot more damage. I don't know. He's still going to absolutely destroy the Scorpius Rex, but... Yeah, he's still doing a lot of damage to it. Yeah, once again, with th that, with this unit, as you can see... I mean, not complete uh, domination. Scorpius did a decent amount of damage. But yeah, it's just very hard to actually uh, balance this unit because it seems to be pretty much good against everything. But then when you put it up against units that are even slightly, if you were to determine its price to be like, let's say $200, if a unit is $201, it would completely demolish, demolish it. It's like kind of really hard to balance this unit within the current game's units and pricing and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, either way, looks like Hydra is actually doing pretty good. Um... Shane, his top head's almost dead somehow. Actually, I don't even know how. I didn't even see that top head get attacked. Though it's already dead. And that head's dead as well. How is Scorpius Rex even doing that damage? Probably spikes on the back, I think. Probably spikes on the neck. And tail. Um. But, I mean, yeah, you can see here. It's a $200 unit, which is how much the Hydra is. And the Scorpius Rex pretty much just... Didn't, I mean, it took damage, right? It's probably going to be about half his health before it kills the Hydra. But still, it's a $200 unit. And if it's at half health, then you would think it should be cost $400. But no, Dragon is $400, which is the most expensive unit in the game. And the Dragon absolutely demol demolishes the Scorpius. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of... Kind of weird where this unit sits. Um, though... Still, as you can see, he just killed that head. And now he just has one head left to kill. Um, so yeah, as you can see, about half-ish health. This head probably won't do that much more damage. So actually, it looks like the head's got a actual bite on him. Um, yeah, there you go. But yeah, so just for example, if I go ahead and place a dragon out here, it's not even really a remote fight. It's more like just kind of, I mean, yeah. Because, obviously, Scorpius is too light, so, yeah, that, that just happens. He just picks him up and throws him because Scorpius isn't that heavy. Um, go and try against the Minotaur. Never did that test. So we'll go ahead and do Swarm Test in a second since we haven't done that yet. Um, but uh, yeah. This unit's not very balanced within the game. I feel like it's either completely demolishing a unit or it's completely getting demolished itself. That's kind of how this unit sits. Um, which I think there might be a unit like that. Now I think about it, but I don't know what it is. Um, either way. Gonna get Swarm Bug, so... I don't know, we'll just do... We'll just do one of them, see if that does anything, really. Turn off, uh, health bars, that way you don't just see a bunch of green. Um... They all went for the face, so they're all gonna get killed pretty quickly there, but... Going for the tail is going to kill him quickly, too, because it has spikes on the tail. So, that's not going to end well for Swarm Bugs, either. Mm, let's check on health. Yeah, it's not taking much damage at all from this. Okay, let's just do a bit bigger of a battle. Let's try... Let's try four Swarm Bugs. See if this does much of anything. Which I think it will. What I saw, it looks like he's doing pretty well there. Uh, he's doing health pretty quickly, but then again, you see how many Swarm Bugs he's killed already. Um, mainly probably because of the, they all fl flew into his mouth, and also he has spikes along his tail and his head. The back of his head, at least. So, some try, if one of these guys try to attack him on the head or the tail, they pretty much kill themselves. This is like a pretty effective tactic. If someone tries to attack you, they just kill themselves when they try to attack you. Seems pretty effective. Um, he's actually almost dead, but then again... This was four swarm bugs worth of... Or four, like, swarm units worth of swarm bugs, so... Yeah, and there's only one left. And there you go. So, yeah. They're $90. So, that's $360 versus him, and he beat it. So, uh, it's kind of... Once again, as you see there, it's, like, very difficult to gauge where this unit is meant to be placed. But, uh... Let's go ahead and test him against Colossal Squid, because I do like testing this unit against units, since it is newer and also the strongest... Technically within the aquatics. What? In I don't know how the squid just died that quickly. Wait a second. We need to have health bars on. I don't even know what just happened. Squid died in like two seconds. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, so squid's attacking. Does his... Oh! That's what happens. When he does his backflip, he literally just impales himself on all the spikes on the tail. And just kills himself in like two seconds. Well, that's actually not very good at all. We'll try, we'll try Motor Source then. Because that unit's just going to kill itself every single time. Say, I don't think Motor Source would do too good either. Because it's same as like T-Rex and Spinosaurus. It only... It can only attack with its mouth. It doesn't have any, like, like punch attacks, right? Like, the Gora has a punch attack. Its attack doesn't necessarily need to grip on to do damage. It just needs to hit the unit. Well, with Mosasaurus, it needs to actually grip onto the skin of the unit. Its armor actually protects it from the Mosasaurus' attacks, so. And you see, Mosasaurus literally hasn't even done damage to it. Oh, no, it has. I mean, whatever that amount of damage is, that's literally like 1% of its health, maybe. If even that. Um, but, uh, yeah. Go ahead and do a test of these guys. Prawner's a bit more powerful than the normal swarm books, I think. So, should be pretty interesting, I think. Um, he's taking pretty decent damage. He hasn't killed that many, actually. Prawner's actually may kill him here. Yeah, they actually are, I think. Shane, these two just impaled themselves on his spike, so. Um, yeah, he's dead. Okay, so Piranha's definitely a lot more stronger than the Swarm Bugs, that's for sure. Um, but, uh, yeah. We're going to test him against some um, Wyverns, I guess. We'll do three Wyverns, see how he can do against these. I haven't seen the Wyvern in a while, actually. I haven't really used it, or seen it be used at all, because, well... It's not really used anymore. You may just use the dragon because it's the better and stronger one. And it's actually a dragon that has fire rather than just a wyvern that kind of just doesn't do anything other than just normally attack. Did he just kill all three of them at the exact same time? That's okay. But, but uh, but, uh, yeah. Obviously, he seems pretty powerful in terms of... I don't even know what it really classifies the unit as. If it's powerful, if it's weak. Uh, I mean, I would say it's powerful in the sense of it can pretty much demolish a unit if it's too cheap like the hydra it can completely demolish a hydra but the second you step up to 50 dollars more than that the goro the goro pretty much single-handedly can kill this unit like i'm actually i'm interested how many of these units it take to kill goro we'll do this as the final test it'll probably take a good few honestly it'll probably take probably more than three but we'll try three first. I, want, I just want to see how many units. How many of these guys does it take? Let's see. So, they're doing decent damage so far. And they actually know... Oh, nope. That one's almost dead already, though. Yeah, one of Scorpius is almost dead. Uh, okay, now they're actually going to kill the Goro pretty quickly. Okay. So, they killed it pretty quickly there. But then again... Okay, so let's just do two. I think it'll kill two of them. Um, let's see. Yeah, Goro's gonna win this easily. Uh, one's behind them. Nope, don't really matter. Actually, no, it's a pretty fair fight. Okay. He's doing pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he just threw that one. Yep, there you go. Okay, but yeah, either way, um, just to end off the video here, we'll go ahead and do a Scorpius versus Scorpius battle. But uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, obviously don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.